You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. This is a fun day because we get to talk about um, hymns and art all in one. So I think Sarah's reached like total hymn nerdery geeked out. I'm moment. super excited, I, not going to lie. It, I think ecstatic might be a better word yes. for that today because I can hear it. It's just like oozing through the microphone today because we're true. talking about art and hymns. It's true. Uh, which is... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, our our great friends at Concordia Publishing House have come up with something really awesome, and I'm excited to share it with you today. Joining us today, Peggy Keaty, Senior Editor of Concordia Publishing House. Peggy, thanks so much for joining us at the Coffee Hour. Oh, you are most welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm uh, always happy to talk with you, too. The Illuminated Hymnal. Now, when I hear Illuminated Hymnal, I kind of wonder, this isn't like a hymnal that you plug in. So <laughs> what is... <laughs> And it lights no, it's up. Not. Nope. Nope. That's not <laughs> that's not what it is. Yeah. So for those of us maybe not familiar with illumination, what is the illuminated hymnal? The uh, well, let me talk a little bit about illuminated manuscripts first to put this in context. So mm -hmm. um, back when people first started uh, publishing materials, um, publishing means to write something down and make it public. Um, they, they started highlighting manuscripts to uh, shed light on the context of the material and the meaning of the material. So they would illuminate it with little illustrations, usually on the first page or at the, um, the, the first paragraph. And these illuminations were um, simple drawings that were highlighted with color or um, gold or silver to um, kind of set the tone and um, show in pictures the, the theme of the manuscript. So fast forward to the Middle Ages when printing became an industry. Paper was, uh, paper manufacturing changed. The printing industry um, technology advanced. So there were more and more illuminated materials. A lot of them came from the church and these illuminations were symbolic or would show some, would illustrate somehow that manuscript. Well, now CPH has released this illuminated hymnal, which doesn't look like those illuminated manuscripts, but we called it this because we include well-known hymns, beloved hymns, and um, we are showing themes and symbolism from those hymns in illustrations. So the illuminated hymnal is a coloring book for hymns. Which I think is an fantastic, genius idea, personally. I love hymns. I love my hymnal. And I love to color and I love art. It's just like the perfect marriage of things. And that history of, of illuminated manuscripts is, is so cool to tie in this, uh, this new, I don't know, coloring book trend with this really ancient art of putting, um, putting color and drawings and illustration onto manuscripts. I think that that's a, that's a really cool thing to be doing. So tell us, tell us a little bit more about the illuminated hymnal, what's in it uh, and what, what people can do with it. Well, we started by choosing um, our favorite hymns. We had a team of people, we chose our favorite hymns and we had way more than could fit. Into the <laughs> and, Not surprised. And, yeah. Because we all have personal favorites. Well, um, one of the one of my colleagues in our music department here at CPH, we sat down and we looked at the church here. We went through our Lutheran service book and we looked at all of the categories in that hymnal, and we picked um, the the hymns that we liked. We thought were most representative of the the church here, and the most representative of the hymns in the hymnal to include in this book. We knew that it we couldn't illustrate every hymn. Um, so we picked 42 because it fit with the page count that, that uh, worked best for this book, for this coloring book. Um, and then as we chose the hymns, we identified symbolism and themes that each hymn teaches. So this is definitely a teaching tool. As the reader looks at the hymn and maybe sings the hymn, then, then that illustration that the reader can color 
using whatever implement or tool he or she wants, that that illustration draws out some of the themes and some of the symbolism that that hymn uh, teaches. So it helps to further our understanding of those hymns, further our appreciation of the rich symbolism and message in Lutheran hymnody, and then the, the result is just a, a keener appreciation for um, what those hymns, the, the gifts and the benefits of those hymns to the church. This is not the first venture into coloring books for grown-ups that Concordia Publishing House has provided. Tell us about some of the other coloring books for adults that CPH has published in the past and what the response has been to those. Well, we published a few years ago, we published a, um, a, a coloring, our first one, our first coloring book in this category was called The Garden of, uh, the Garden of Eden. I think that was the name of it. It's, it's um, 42 illustrations from the book of Genesis. And, and we showed the story of creation um, in, in all these different settings. So we showed animals and plants and the heavens and um, we had such a good response to that that we kept our eyes open and, and our thinking caps on for um, the next adult coloring book. We call it adult because, you know, they, they, it's adults is the primary purchaser. So the next one we published was the Illuminated Catechism. And that's a true catechism with um, text. And then that text is supported with uh, coloring pages or illustrations that again show those themes and show the symbolism of those different of the six chief parts of the catechism that was incredibly well received um, so we anticipated uh, coming out with an illuminated hymnal we just waited until the time was right and and the time is right now so there you have it yes yes indeed uh Tell us about the um, the artist that actually drew the illustrations for us to then color in. Uh, this is the first time we've worked with her. Her name's Carolyn Williams, and um, she's a graduate of the American Academy of Art in Chicago, although she lives in Texas now. Um, she was a freelance um, or a graphic artist for a very long time, and um, that really helped her establish herself as a freelance illustrator because learning graphic arts teaches you how to um, enhance and supplement a particular message. So that um, helped her, again, learn about more about illustration. And then she's developed a style over time that um, it's, it's a very whimsical and a very winsome style. She loves to draw about nature and the seasons. And um, she, she has some other adult coloring books in her repertoire. I'm, I don't have any of those on hand, so I can't speak to those specifically. But we, um, we just love working with Carolyn, and we thought that her illustrations of the style and um, the themes were a beautiful fit for these hymns. So now we have an uh, an illustrated catechism, a uh, the first book which shows on the uh, the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. and now we have a hymnal, and I believe there's a Bible as well, correct? Enduring Word Bible, and, I think. Yes, um, yeah, that's true. Um, that is that's a, a traditional Bible with space on on a number of the pages. I don't remember how many illustrations are in that beautiful Bible. Um, but those are, they take the form of panels on the outside edge of the mm -hmm. Enduring Word Bible. Um, and and the, the, um, the oh gosh, our customers have really, really enjoyed that because you can um, use that for your Bible study, for your meditation. It's more contemplative. Um, and, and it's, but it's a traditional Bible. So the, the, um, full text of the Bible is there. And then the reader has that opportunity to, uh, think more, meditate more on their study of God's word. 
So we basically have the essential coloring library, essential Lutheran coloring <laughs> library that. now. I like that. I like from that. Concordia Publishing House. <laughs> I mean, so you just need what Peggy, what do you like to use to color in on these pieces, especially the new illuminated hymnal? Well, you know, coloring's a personal thing. So mm-hmm. we all have our favorite, just like I have my favorite ink pen or my favorite type of pencil. I like a number one pencil, not a number two. <laughs> Um, I like Prismacolor uh, color pencils, um, coloring pencils. So I've got some Crayola brand and some other brands, but Prismacolor is, the, is my, my pencil of choice because I like the, um, the way the lead allows or the whatever that material is, allows the shading and uh, over coloring. Um, but a lot of people like to use a fine point color pen which works great on these pages that the paper used for this illuminated hymnal is a nice quality heavy duty paper so there's not much bleed through i don't recommend a regular crayon just because the point isn't sharp enough sarah what are you going to use to color these in when you when you uh, get the illuminated hymnal I am a big fan of colored pencils uh, back from my art days. You know, there, there's there's a lot of shading you can do. However, I really love bold colors. So I have I have a couple sets of really nice, uh, a little thicker, thicker point pens that are nice, bold colors that I like to use in my coloring books to get that really vibrant color going on on the pages. Oh, that's a great idea, Sarah. I would like to see some. <laughs> I'll have to share some with you. Yeah, so- I like when we have nice weather, which we've had some nice weather days, this is the sort of thing that you sit out on the back porch and color in while you have your cup of coffee and uh, and, and just enjoy the great hymns. I suppose you could get together and, and, and color these with friends, but it's yes, also a nice thing to do by yourself. <laughs> yes. Uh, Peggy, how do we get the illuminated hymnal from Concordia Publishing House? Well, there are um, a number of ways. You can go to your local... Christian bookstore. You can order it from amazon.com. You can go right to cph.org and look at, um, see samples on online. You can look, click the look inside feature. And um, then that'll give you a, a really good idea of what the art style is like and, and what's included. Um, so that's on cph.org. And once you're there, you can look at the other uh, options that we have for coloring books. Or you can call our 800 number and talk to a customer service representative. You can email. Um, so many options for, for getting this book into your hands. I think I hear Sarah clicking right now. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm literally looking at it right now. <laughs> Peggy, thank you so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour today and sharing with us the, the new illuminated hymnal from Concordia Publishing House. Thank you again, Andy and Sarah. It was a great pleasure to talk about this new book from CPH, and I'm looking forward to next time. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth.